This week, the entire video gaming world converged on Los Angeles for the annual E3 conference. And for the first time, the latest offerings were on show from Xbox and PlayStation for gamers to get their hands on. So we sent our own Tommy Little to get amongst it where he joins us now. Tommy, what's going on, mate? Well, guys, thanks for the time difference. It's actually 3 a.m. in the morning here, so there is nothing going on and if you see a camera in downtown LA at this time it usually means they're filming a crime scene but lucky for you guys we did get out today when there actually was stuff going on so take a look this is E3 it's a sensory overload and a mecca for video gamers up to 50,000 people will travel from all parts of the world just to come and get a glimpse of the future in console gaming we've been here about 10 minutes and it's just full on I mean I've never seen so many Screens, massive screens, so much noise, so many games, gamers, glasses, tablets. Oh, I feel like a kid who's had a little bit too much red cordial. It's awesome. But the reason this year has drawn record crowds is because for the first time in seven years, Xbox and PlayStation have announced the release of their new gaming consoles. So finally today we can say uh, the Xbox One is coming to Australia uh, this November uh, at a $599 recommended retail price. I'm very, very happy to tell you that Australians will see it before Christmas and it'll retail for $549. Well, the battle between PlayStation and Xbox has never been so big or so close. No, literally, these signs are massive and like metres apart. Jokes aside, video games are a $65 billion industry with over a billion people playing games around the world. And the one thing they all have in common is how much they love games. Very yeah. excited! Yes! Yes! I'm actually doing an AVP full fight scene on my back right now, Tattoo. AVP? Uh, uh, Alien vs Predator. How good's this shirt? It's like he'll murder you and blog about it. <laughs> now there's one highly anticipated game at E3 that's receiving more interest than most, and it's with good reason. Last year, Call of Duty broke the record for the biggest entertainment release ever, surpassing the film Avatar and generating $500 million in a single day. Is this a Call of Duty t-shirt you've got on? Yeah, it's a Call of Duty t-shirt, and we just got another. <laughs> You've got to take it to another level, too. The iPhone cases, too. How long have you been in this line for? We've been in here an hour and a half. OK, and how much longer do you think? Uh, an hour and a half, probably. I think it closes in an hour and a half, so hopefully less than that. Did you think about finding out whether you could actually play the game before you lined up, or you just... We, we never imagined it would take this long, but I know it's going to be worth it. <laughs> it better be. It bloody better be. Oh. So if video games are to fans what music is to the rest of the world, that must make Xbox Vice President Phil Spencer some sort of rock star. I am definitely not a rock star in the gaming world. It's really the creators that are the core of what E3 is about. And I can just stand there and introduce their games, and the gamers love it. It's, it's an easy job. So whether you're an Xbox, Nintendo or PlayStation fan, the one thing you need to know is that come this November, everything is about to change. And change, and then change again, and then probably keep changing. That's technology, that's how it works. You guys know that. Can I have a kiss on the cheek? That's too much, isn't it? I thought so, I thought it was too much. Thank you. you. <laughs> not a gamer, but it, it seems a lot of excitement for just a new console. It's not just a console, you're missing the point. These guys are so passionate about this stuff that they will spend hours a day for years of their lives on this console. It's like a potential kind of lover, which hopefully they don't make love to. It's a lot more than a console. Yeah, yeah, good explanation. Uh, thanks, Tommy. Good job, mate. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Uh, well done, Tommy. And, and the E3 concert is great. It's a chance for gamers to gather and celebrate the lifestyle that they all share. A lot of guys here don't really have the opportunity to ever talk to a girl that pretty without the police being called. Oh. <laughs> without the police being called. Yeah. Right. Yeah, maybe not the police, but they will call security, fellas. So, yeah, hands off.